Looks like I got some milk off. Oh, baby. Somebody sent me a four loco. A peach four loco. Hey, wait a minute. There's something else in there. Oh, yeah. This is going to be awesome. Well, hey out there everybody in YouTube land, welcome back to Calvin's Corner 72, where happiness is always just around the corner, especially when it's a four loco Friday, baby. Oh, I've been waiting all week long for this, and I know you have too, and I hope y'all got one of these big four locos on a Friday. Hope you enjoy one with me. This one's only got 12% alcohol, it's not near as bad as a 14%, but y'all check that out. That's awesome. Peach. It tastes just like peach nectar, guys. Freaking awesome. If you've never had it, you need to try it. This one's one of my very favorite. One of the first ones that got me started right here. I tried one one day, and I was hooked. I mean, I was hooked. But we also got a mail call, guys. Check it out. Phil in Florence sent me something. Well, I know what it is. He sent the same thing to uh, Rob, the, the barbecue pit dog. That's right. And uh, I just can't wait to open this box, boys. I'm so happy. Thank you, Phil. Phil's got a great channel, guys. Does a lot of cooking, him and his wife. And he's a he's a, one of them Gamecock fans. I know it, I know it. We're playing, Florida's playing the, uh, the, the Georgia Bulldogs tomorrow, so. Go Gators, baby. I know, I'm sorry, Phil. Gators beat you. You game cocks, yeah. That's just the way it is. You know what I mean. That's the way it goes. Um, I'm surprised Tennessee beat them. Tell you the truth. But we're gonna beat them Georgia Bulldogs tomorrow. So y'all go, go Gators. Give me a thumbs up if you're a Gators fan. If you ain't, then give me a thumbs down. I don't care. That's okay. It's the same thing on YouTube. They don't care if it's up or down. It's just a video response. But uh, yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. You sending me this hot sauce. Oh, one thing, real quick. Shane's World, you're going down, buddy. Me and Shane from Shane's World has got a bet, okay? He took Georgia very first of the season, and I took Florida. He said if Georgia wins, I've got to lay a Georgia shirt on the on the floor, and i got to do 10 push-ups, guys. i got to do 10 push-ups, and every time I go down, i got to kiss that Georgia Bulldog shirt and say, you're the best. And look right in the camera. Go down and kiss it again and say, you're the best. Got to do it ten times. Well, after Florida beat LSU. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. After Florida beat Auburn, sorry. Um, Shane's World said, hey. He said, I'm going to hurry. Go ahead and start practicing because uh, I know y'all going to beat us. <laughs> I love it, guys. The SEC football is the best. Okay, enough about football. Enough about the best. And if, and if Shane loses, y'all see the video on next on the next Friday. Yeah, for local Friday. I'm gonna put the video in regardless whether I win or lose. It's gonna be there. Y'all gonna see me, or you're gonna see Shane kissing the Gators. <laughs> Man, PIF's hot sauce. Check it out, guys. Now this is gonna go great today with this. And I appreciate everybody saying how much they like my videos and enjoy watching. I enjoy doing this too. PIF's hot sauce. He made this hot sauce, guys. Phil in Florence. He made this hot sauce. He made it at home. I mean, I've never had the gumption enough to even be able to do that. And he sets, and he sealed it and everything. It's professional, man. And he ground it. All these peppers come from his house, out of his garden. And he made his own hot sauce. I mean, that's pretty cool. So I can't wait to try this out. Going to go great with this uh, four loco. Now, as y'all remember, some of y'all do, uh, I, maybe on my live stream I talked about these eggs I made because I seen Bill Gowdy made some. And uh, I did make some pickled eggs too. Put me some uh, jalapenos and I put me some cayennes and some of these uh, uh, 
put garlic in here, and I put, you know, 50-50 with the vinegar and the water, and then I put the little uh, Tabascos in here too. And I've already been eating these. They're pretty good. They didn't turn out like I wanted them to, but they still, they're pretty good. But I figure what better way to enjoy some fresh hot sauce, you know, it's either I'm eating a quail egg or I'm eating this. It seems like beer and eggs go together, right? Especially pickled eggs. And the, but the next day, uh, I can't even explain, guys. Anyway. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to make me a little hole here. Phil and Florence hot sauce. It looks like, looks like Texas Pete, to tell you the truth. That's what Rob said, ain't it? It's got a, ooh, it's hot. It's got a lime flavor, for sure. No, I taste the onions. The onions are really coming through. I don't know if you put onions in here, but it tastes like onions. Phil, man. I'll be enjoying this. Yeah, I know I like hot stuff, right? Mmm. <laughs> That's really good, guys. Really good. Thank you, Phil. I owe you, brother. I'll put his channel link down below. Y'all look, look at her. Got hot sauce all over me. Hey, it ain't no good unless you get it all over you, right? Phil and Florence, link for his channel will be down below. Just click on it. You go to his channel, check him out. Tell him Calvin's Corner 72 sent you. And tell him to get him a four loco on a Friday. Here we go, guys. I got some more stuff to talk about right here. And this shirt, too. Oh, boy. <sighs> that smells like nectar. Just pure peach juice like right out of a oh my god mm. here we go again for loco i'm gonna have to drink left-handed again you know i ain't left-handed uh, i'm gonna get you come on for loco get the get the lid on the right side man he must be the knockoffs or something mm. Man, that's dangerous. That's so good. That is so good, guys. L-O-K-O. -O. If you drink four of these, you're going to be loco. Now, the whole thing about this is, I'm not going to try to drink every bit of this today. Not on this video. But it will get drunk today. It's about 53 degrees out here. Winter time is on its way. Fall is in the air. It's cool. It's crisp. If you can see the flags behind me, the wind's blowing this way. I can't wait to go do some deer hunting. I probably won't go this evening because I worked last night and I'm gonna have to go to sleep today. But real early in the morning, I'm gonna be up and I'm gonna be in a tree stand. It's gonna be extremely cold in the morning, around 31 degrees. Can't wait to go. Now, don't forget, last video, and I'll have that video link at the tail end of this one so you can click on it. Go check it out, guys. My last four loco, all right? This is four loco peach, but the last one I think was, uh, Oh, hell, I can't remember. I've done so many of them now. Um, but I'll have the link at the end of the video. Watch it. Pay attention to it. And if you have watched it and if you have done a video, please put the video link or a VR in the description of that video, please. So I'll know and I'll go look at it. If you do a VR, a video response, where you try to, all I want you to do is get in front of the camera and try in one minute talk about the four loco on a friday you don't have to have a four loco you can just talk about it um talk about my channel as far as what i'm doing on four loco on a friday and, and guys just do a vr just say hey look here's i got one minute i'm gonna ch shout out as many youtube channels as i can within one minute and uh <clears throat> if you do that you know, don't have a piece of paper behind you and all that. Don't cheat. Try to see if you can remember. 
It's very hard. It's harder than you think. I think I got like 16 last time or something. The first time I ever did, I got eight, like 18. So it's very hard to do. One minute, don't take long, and bam. So you can make literally a three-minute video very easily, and you'll get in a chance to win a beer handle from beerhandle.com. I'm going to send this to y'all. Now, if you're overseas, naturally I can't send one of these, but I can send you my channel sticker, and I'll probably send you a little bit of fundage. You know, I can do that. Now, again, YouTube, I'm not sponsored by Four Loco. YouTube, I'm not sponsored by Four Loco. I bought this with my own money. Mm. Great stuff. But if you want a chance to win one of these, they just snap right on the beer. Like when it's cold, you don't want to be holding that cold can. That's why I keep setting it down because it's cold. This won't fit on here because it's not big enough. But it, if it's, you know, it'll slide right under there, then you got it and you can hold it. And you, and you don't freeze your hand off holding your beer in a cold day. So, beerhandle.com. I'll have the link down below if you want to check, click on it and go check it and get you some of these. They're only like $3 or something, but they're going to charge you $8 for shipping. If you buy more than 10 or 12, you still only get charged one time for shipping. They do combine shipping. So, it's best if you're going to buy, get two or three guys to go together. Y'all pay the shipping. Y'all order more than 10 or 12, hey man, you're going to get a good deal on these. Really are. Uh, but if you want a chance, I'll send you one of these and my sticker. Um, upcoming videos. I'm going to try to do a video where I show how I make my jerky. This is beef jerky, not deer jerky. This is beef jerky. I still have deer made from last year, yes. But this is... This is beef jerky I have made. And um, I actually did a little thing on Facebook talking about how I do it. There's only four ingredients. You get the beef, go to Kroger, usually I go to Kroger, and have it sliced. Get the leanest meat you can find, have it sliced, thin slices. You gotta get some uh, soy sauce, some Moore's seasoning sauce, it's like it's just like a, it's just like your uh, uh, Dale seasoning, but it's Moore's. Um, I'm not sponsored by them either, or you know, or just any old soy sauce. It doesn't matter because you're gonna do a 50/50 when you pour that. I'll show how you do it. Uh, and there's one more ingredient. It's, it's called Grippos. Grippos seasoning, and I have to go to Kentucky to get this. And so sometimes my neighbor goes and he he brings me back some, and I pay him, you know, whatever it costs is what I pay for it. Grippo seasoning is awesome. It's like a powder. It goes on the meat. It covers it. It gives it a little bit of heat at the end, and it's sweet. But what I did to this was I put a little bit of cracked pe black pepper on it, and then I put just a little bit of brown sugar on it. And it kicked up the sweetness, but it also kicked up the heat. That little bit of black pepper, I couldn't put much on it, but it's so good, guys. I'm going to do a video on that, and I'm going to show you all how I make it. And uh, it's probably going to be a two-day two video. Because it takes one day to make it, and the next day to, you know, to do the follow-up and show you how I do it. But Okay, this shirt. Most of y'all seen it when I went and get the mail. On the back, it says Bone Yard, right? Bone Yard Hollow. This is an ATV park up in Kentucky. And I did a video with the Moonshiners, Appalachia Files, and the Marshall Brothers, okay? It's on the Marshall Brothers YouTube site. I will put that link to that video at the very end of this. Please check on, check, click on that and check that video out. I mean, you're talking about an awesome video, guys. We had the Moonshiners. We had Donnie, Teresa there, uh, Jeff, Geneva. We had, um, oh Lord, uh, several, several people there um, that were in the moon in the Moonshine community. Herman Griffin was there. Several people. Um, I was blessed. I know Donnie before he got on the show, Discovery Channel Moonshiners. So he invited me up to get, get in the video, and I drove four and a half hours after I worked all night and got in the video, and it's awesome. I'm in there. Y'all will see me sitting on the porch doing a little swinging, and, and they go to Bone Yard Hollow and uh, do some video in there, and it's just an awesome, awesome song. I love it. I was so blessed to be in it, and I'm glad. I hope it goes really well. Y'all click on it, check it out, leave a comment, tell them Calvin's Corner sent me two cents you, 
And now you'll see in the credits at the end of the video, it'll say Calvin's Corner, but he did that because on my Facebook ch channel, I've got, it only says Calvin's Corner. It won't let me put the number 72 in. So I guess he just went off that, um, but that's fine. Not a big deal, but I'm in the credits and I got to watch the video last night for the first time on Halloween is when he posted it and that was so awesome. So definitely I will have that link here. Now I have a video as well that I did on that video shoot. And I've been holding it until he put out this video. So I couldn't post it until they did theirs because out of respect, you know, it's their band, it's their group, it's their whole ideal. Jeff and Geneva, I think, come together with um, one of the Marshall Brothers uh, brothers and they, they got together and uh, they, they come up with this ideal to having this video and it worked out really good. Sam Rosado, he's one. He's the editor of the. Um, as far as I know, he's the editor of the video. I know he did the video shoot. We had a good time. I had a I had a wonderful weekend going up there and spending time with Donnie. Uh, most of y'all seen that video already, where I went riding around with Donnie on the uh, the Moonshine Mobile, his Razor, his RZR. That thing is really awesome, man. But I had a good time. Getting a little dry. Hang on. Four loco Friday calling. Hmm. A whole lot of stuff in this video, I know. A whole lot of stuff. So, on behalf of the Moonshiners, I got me a little black cherry. It's just colored water, y'all. That's all it is. I swear, that's all it is, colored water. Cheers. Mm. Oh, my God. That is like nectar of the gods. <laughs> it's about about 40 proof it's not real strong great really really good guys so let me make sure I've caught across all my T's and dotted all my I's um, I've got some more videos to do one that may include a gnome dark matter and uh, the updates on my Calvin, uh, the karaoke on the corner of my other channel I have. The reason why I have not um, did any music on that, because uh, it's just that time of the year when it's deer hunting season, it's really busy, and I just kind of back way off of that. I haven't done any singing in a while. I really enjoy that, guys. And uh, I, I hope y'all go over and check it out. I'll, I'll put the video, I'll put the link to that channel down below if you're interested. Karaoke on the corner, listen to me try to sing. I'm not really good, but I have a good time with it. You know what I mean? And that's all it's all about. I just hadn't done it in a while, and I'm sorry. I apologize. Bill Mitchell, he's been pushing me to do some more videos. And I just hadn't, he's one of my favorite fans out there. I mean, he, this guy watches almost every single video I have and it's, and it's it, to me it's humbling it's just like me watching Bill Gowdy or, or you know there's several channels that I watch every single like Steve Robb I mean some of the stuff he, I don't watch his you know how he is them Canucks up there in Canada man I'm telling you I'm telling you boy <laughs> Steve don't get mad at me cause it's uh, a little loco on a Friday four loco on a Friday y'all get on back over here on the corner where happiness is always just around the corner. I appreciate y'all coming by Calvin's Corner to see me too. There was a whole lot in this video today, but I'm gonna try to make it short, try to make it sweet. Mm. Well, y'all get on back over here. I appreciate you coming by, I really do. Get that like if you like the video, and uh, click these uh, thumbnails right here now. Click them, check them out. Check that video out from Appalachia Files and the Marshall Brothers. The Moonshiners edition. Uh, check out Nina. Nina Rose up there. Uh, Bone Jar Holla. I had a great time up there. And uh, they're just great hosts. They're good people. Donnie and Teresa the, from the Moonshiners. Oh, and uh, the Moonshiner starts the 17th of this month. So check it out on Discovery Channel. Don't miss it, guys. Going to be some great shows on there. I can't wait. I've been to the... Well, let's just say I was at the site, or one of the sites, that you will see on TV. <laughs> Y'all, get on back over here. You know, you know what I'm going to say. Mm.
four loco on a Friday, baby. Get her done. Yeah! Look what I found on my wood pile right behind where I was sitting. Check it out. Oyster mushrooms. And they're just now starting. Look at them. I mean, they're everywhere. And wood ears. See the wood ears? You can eat these, guys. All these are edible. Wood ears. Oyster mushrooms. <laughs> That's for you, Tack and Brenda. I thought y'all would like that. They're even on the back side. Oh, boy. I'm already getting hungry. <laughs> Check this one out. Oh man, that's a big one. I'm gonna have to get them. That right there is good eating, y'all. Step into a four loco. Oh yeah. <laughs> If you don't know Four Loco, you don't know Jack. <laughs>